In this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you why so many women are single and alone. Check this out. Is often to do with accepting what real partnership looks like. And I'm doing this video not because I'm bashing women, but because I personally have been there. It's actually accepting what is real partnership. Now, for example, real partnership will look like sometimes your man potentially maybe losing his job, God forbid. But actually those things do happen. Real partnership can look like your husband or partner taking sick, no longer able to work, you having to pick up the load, you having to do that little bit more, even maybe take on a second job. Real partnership can look like still building his business. Maybe his business is in that year two or that year three stage where actually it hasn't had the profits that it maybe is predicted to return or receive in five years time. Can you be that person who actually still has that ability to say, you know what, this does not mean I should disqualify that person. This is maybe just a guy who can cover the mortgage and he can cover most of the bills, but actually maybe to the standard or to the level that you want where he can cover the house, the mortgage, the kids, every single bill, every shoe, everything. Maybe he's not there. Will you miss your blessing just because of that? Yes, it's important to have our standards. Yes, it's important to make sure that we do not settle for less than we deserve, but make sure that we have a good understanding of what real partnership looks like. There's gonna be times where you may need to pick up the slack. There's gonna be times where he may need to pick up more of the slack financially or in the household. That's real partnership. Real partnership today looks like sometimes your husband cooking, you running out to pick up the kids, you run into another job because you're in that season of grind. He's running out to do the night shift. You're coming back to do this. You've got a unified vision to where you're going. And actually, this is just that season where you're grinding. Real partnership comes in different forms. Some people, they accept partnership to be something that is 50-50. So what's your thought on finances? I think that's a conversation that, you know, one would have. I think, uh, you know, we split the mortgage. I would take water, cable, internet. Maybe she handles the car insurance. Now, when a guy might say, oh, you know, I, I, I don't mind maybe covering this, 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 and maybe we could split the mortgage doesn't mean that he's someone who's saying, I can't cover all the bills, but it might be someone who's trying to communicate, like we see here with Chris, that maybe this is something we need to discuss because I don't know what your income is. I don't know what our household expenses is. I don't know if my current budget will fit everything in terms of expenses. So it's a discussion, it's a conversation. This is how real marriages run. But for some women, I understand 50-50, just hearing those words is a turn off. I've been that woman at times where I'm like, Lord, 50, 50, nah. Real marriages and, and partnerships and relationships, they have often in 2020 and going into 2021, women working and men working. Real partnership can look like you in one household with your husband and wife or your boyfriend and girlfriend or your partner and you and him sitting down at the kitchen table and you and him sifting through what the outgoings of the month are. And you and him saying, how much money have we got coming in? Is what is gonna serve all these bills? And that is often how many real partnerships look like when they're healthy. Unfortunately, we have grown up in a society, let's say, where the message has always been that man is the provider. We know that this started at the beginning of the beginning. And if you're a Christian like myself, then you will believe that this is something that is biblically based. I want to highlight one key thing is about the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. That woman, and please guys, go and check it out. That woman was a woman who had multiple streams of income. She had businesses, she was working, grinding and looking after a household. And I just want to emphasize that as women, we sometimes miss our opportunities for love, miss our opportunities for healthy partnerships because sometimes we fail to accept 
what real partnership does look like. And if you are a lady who says, you know what, I am actually okay with this man having a job and maybe this man's intention being, I will cover all that I can cover, which might be the mortgage and it might be the majority of the bills, but it might not mean that you can go on a, a luxury holiday three times a year. It's just got to be said. Now, does that mean that he's not a good man? No. Does that mean that he should be disqualified from being someone who you consider? No. Does that mean that he is someone who is unfit to be in a partnership? No. What it does mean is that you have to decide what real partnership looks like in your life. Now, men, don't think you got away with it. In part two, I'm gonna be talking about the number one reason why men tend to be single and don't commit. So guys, if you found value in this video, make sure you hit that like button, post below your comments and tell me what you think the number one reason is for why women are single today. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss another video each and every time I upload. Take care and God bless. Bye.